Hey, it's Mike here, and today we're gonna do a long requested video of vegan on the go. Particularly, we're gonna do some international traveling. Right now, we're actually in Dublin, and we're doing a Euro trip that goes Dublin, Paris, and then Greece. And so we're gonna show you what we've been eating in Dublin, and then we're gonna show you what we're gonna eat in Paris and Greece. And those countries will be more interesting because they don't speak English there, but they do speak English here in Ireland. And so it's gonna be an interesting trip, so follow us along. We're in the O'Hare Airport and we're gonna figure out what to eat. We got a seven hour flight ahead of us, so hopefully we'll find something good. All right, here's a Starbucks anywhere. There's a Starbucks, you can get some oatmeal with some fruit. Delicious, pretty healthy solution. And they got banana stuff at the little snack place right next to it. Here's my bag and it's loaded with Lara bars. A thousand, just in case. So here is Frontera where you can get a mushroom tort without the cheese, which is vegan. It's also a smoothie place right here, and then I'm gonna go to Burrito Beach, where the line is crazy. Somewhere. All right, here's what I got at the burrito place. I had to go tortillas, because apparently the tortillas aren't vegan, but the rice and beans are. And then I caved and got a berry soy smoothie, which is delicious. All right, so we've got a seven hour flight to Dublin. We've got all the food we need, and so hopefully we'll survive. We'll see, it's kind of a red eye, so we're probably gonna be dead when we get there, so. Yeah, you're up. Yay! <laughs> And we're only smoking cigarettes. <laughs> 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 and nobody All right, we've landed in Dublin. I haven't gotten any sleep for like 24 hours. Some dude just recognized me from the YouTube channel, which is awesome, but we need to get some breakfast or third dinner, if you want to call it that. <laughs> Welcome to the city of Dublin, established in I don't care, because I'm just here to eat food. Typical American. So now we're gonna have a really late lunch at Cornucopia, which apparently has some awesome vegan options. And so I'll show you what we're gonna get. Boom. All the desserts. Aww. Boom, lasagna, potato salad, some type of dessert, more lasagna, some sweet potato stuff. Look at that cake thing. I'll try some of this cake, which looks, oh, I broke it. I broke it. <laughs> Dang, that's good. Super rich, but really good. So here I am in a super Dublin-y street. Got some fiddly thing behind me, cool little alleyway. Apparently I look very Irish. Ginger beard. Someone has to appreciate this. All right, we're in Dublin and we're at Molly Malone and you can see that so many people have touched her breasts that they're actually polished. That's what Dublin's like. <laughs> One super important thing to know about when you're doing international travel is Happy Cow. It's an app that you can get if you want to use it seamlessly, but you can also just access it using your internet browser. Just type in your location, you can see where all the nearby restaurants are on the map. And my strategy for using the app without international cellular data is simply favoriting the location of the restaurant on Google Maps so you can always find it offline. That was huge. All right, sometimes you need to get a snack. Passion fruit, lemon, basil, melon, and raspberry. Lindy, you excited to eat this? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Lindy's mom got a super fancy rose cone thing. What flavor is that? Raspberry. raspberry. Nice. And it's done. The melon was the best. We're gonna do brunch at the Good Food Store, which appears to have a fully vegan side menu, which I'm stoked about. Let's do it. It says it uses honey, honey consumed oh. by the kefir though. Weird. That's abstract. Yeah. Alright, I got a vegan sausage roll. I have no idea what's in it, but it's vegan, so I'm just gonna eat this real quick. It's very fluffy. I don't know, it's like a chutney or something. Mmm, it's like sweet. It's like, no, it's like cinnamony, but then it's savory. I'm confused, but also enjoying it. <laughs> and I got a vegan breakfast burrito and it looks super good. Not only is this delicious, but it's like exactly something I would make at home, which is awesome. Lindy, do you like it? It's good, yeah. Needs salsa. Needs salsa. <laughs> Everything needs salsa. It's cool because we aren't even looking for vegan restaurants right now, and we just found vegan pizza. So we basically, 
I just burped. All right, so we just destroyed this pizza and it was super good because it had a pesto situation and pesto is a little bit harder to find in restaurants. Just a vegan version because it's not normally vegan, so I'm stoked. You just say how it tastes. Oh, it's really good. Boom, vegan, vegan. I'm too short. Boom, here's our dessert. Definitely not her foods right there, but this looks really good. It's a few bites. In. This is the best dessert we've had so far on this trip. All right, we're going into a little grocery store to get some breakfast stuff. What do we get? We got some oatly, which surprisingly doesn't have oil, mm -hmm. um, and then some muesli which hopefully we can just add fresh water to and we don't have to fresh cook it. Fresh water. <laughs> Lindy's shopping for naked bars and just saying, Justine, you are not a good person. <laughs> you are not a good person. And look what Lindy just found, some vegan junk food. Magnum Vegan Classic. There you go. The new, I'm pretty sure that's new. That's new, right? Lindy's finding some more crazy vegan options. They're not probably the most healthy things in the world, but look, vegan quinoa burgers, vegan corn burgers. All right, I just woke up. I'm not the biggest morning person in the world, but I got my Irish muesli that you saw that we got at Tesco. So we got this whole nice kitchen here at our Airbnb, but we only need one thing, and that's that. I'm just going for it. I'm going for it right now. Let's see. That's good, whatever, you know? Healthy meal. It's great. All right, it's kind of windy and uh, not that nice, but here we are at Electric Vegan. Boom, we're gonna get some brunch. All right, we're here for dinner at Sova Vegan Butcher and we have reservations and it looks, you know, looks super packed in there. So hopefully we'll get a seat and I'll show you how delicious the food is. Life is easy. Contact the... All right, here's my Chia cheeseburger, my Chia's burger. It's super duper good, and it's bigger than my face. This looks beautiful. It's actually a turd. Uh, they, uh... <laughs> no, that wouldn't be vegan, actually. That'd be an animal product. All right, last day in Dublin. We got a bunch of super good food at a Japanese restaurant called Yamamori. Got some miso, some sushi with black rice, and some of this tofu dish. It looks super good. All right, so say you're in an airport, like the Dublin airport, and you have absolutely no food, you're starving. Well, it turns out we managed to wrangle a vegan pizza here. This is no cheese or cream or anything in the sauce. And here it is, pretty good, pretty good looking. It was about 11 euro or so. Got some veggies on it. Got another one coming, so I'm feeling feeling pretty good. Part two of our journey, we've arrived at Paris. Behind me is the Arc de Triomphe. And we're gonna try and eat a lot of good vegan food. We're gonna go for some of these famous vegan baked goods as well as just a bunch of restaurants. All right, let's do this. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Is that car vegan interior? Stupid. All right, here we are at a restaurant that I think is pronounced Yem Ah. But it's fully vegan, so we're gonna give it a try. All right, I got some curry, some rice, some quinoa, some guacamole, some carrots, and there's some bread in there. All right, I don't normally drink coffee, but I'm like, whatever, and we found one with almond milk, so heck yes. Yeah. They have quite a few vegan options, even though they don't have most of the vegan food. I mean, they even have a vegan omelet, though that is quite expensive. And even with their to-go coffee, they won't let us sit in the outside place, so don't come here. Okay. 
All right, here we are at Cloud Cakes, which is a cafe that also apparently has really good desserts. And on Happy Cow, someone described it as really good food, but the wait staff doesn't care about you at all. I think that's a pretty good sum up of uh, France in general right now from our experience, but I'm stoked to eat some good food. It's been a while, Karamsu. It's really good. It's really sweet. Might have to go full Whole Foods after this for my trip. No. All right, we are in Paris at a grocery store. There's a ton of muesli and oats and stuff. And then we just found pasta. Oh, we. I just found a vegan chocolate almond pudding. Pizza. Those have vegan cheese, some other vegan stuff. Okay, how cute is this? Vegan coconut something yogurt in glass. It's a glass container. And they have a chia flavor and a chocolate flavor and a vanilla flavor. Check it out, 100% vegan gnocchi. Definitely gonna get it. La mer. On va danser le long du golf. All right, here we are in our French Airbnb and we finally decided to do a home cooked meal. So check it out. All right, this is really second dinner. So it's pretty simple, but Lindy threw together some of that gnocchi that we got, the vegan gnocchi with some tomato sauce that was just straight tomatoes, no oil, and some peppers and some spices. And there we go. Le bon, And over the next few days, we ate Hank Burger and Hank Pizza, which were highly recommended by you guys. Maybe it's Hank, I don't know. This is the aftermath. It was super good. Kind of a lot of waste, but super good. In case you're wondering, basically, if you want to eat more Whole Foods while traveling, you have to cook your own food 90% of the time. And I'll cover this in a little bit. Alright, here we are at Leilo. Leilo? Yes, this meal looks healthy and my body will thank me for it. I don't know what that sausage is made out of, but it's a potato. A normal potato with no oil. All right, so this is my favorite meal in France so far. Super wholesome, super like unprocessed, not slathered in oil, but also has delicious desserts, which are probably not the healthiest, but super yummy. That almond croissant is like the best thing I've ever eaten. We're at the Musée d'Orsay, and this is the, basically the best we could do, and it's really bad. We even had to add some amount to put butter on this after going to three restaurants that serve, or two restaurants that serve foie gras, so. Lindy is dipping her bread in the orange juice because they didn't have jam. I'm gonna make little apple sandwiches I'm gonna throw in here. I'm just trying to spike my blood sugar as much as possible. This is like Insta-worthy right here. Boom, apple sandwich. Quick update, it's actually by weight. This is 16 euros worth of food, just for future reference. Hey, we're finally in Greece, which is our final location, and 
it's been super easy to be vegan here compared to Paris in the sense that just random stuff on the street has a higher chance of being vegan. People are actually roasting just like nuts and corn and things just tend to have less butter and random dairy in them than they do in Paris. But we are gonna go to some vegan specific restaurants. So follow us along and eat some delicious food with us. Columns. All right, we've been in Greece for like an hour and we're only staying like a two minute walk from this place, Vegan Nation. And so we're gonna give it a try. So far, Greece is easier than we thought it would be. Like a lot of things are readable in English. We thought it was all gonna be Greek and it's not. All right, so they got this like lentil salad and we got this green juice, which is like crazy bitter. Spicy. Spicy, Spicy yeah. Empanada, Greece. I don't even know what, something like, one of these is like a tikka masala thing. Probably this, which looks delicious. I'm so hungry. Let's do it. Where, where? Look at these columns. You see this column? It fell. That's what's gonna happen to your penis if you don't go vegan. It's a royal predator attacking its native prey. Cats, beggar cats. It's like a set of pigeons. Just beg. It's wild cats. Diligently waiting. Here we are at Avocado Vegetarian Vegan Cafe. It's apparently a super good review. And a super extensive menu. Like, boom, boom, boom. And some of you may be concerned about languages. If you're traveling into Greece, I highly suggest checking out Kristen Leo's Greece video. She goes over a lot of the Greek vocabulary for vegan related foods. And the Vegan Society also has an app to help you learn the basic vegan terms for traveling in various countries. All right, the next vegan restaurant we are trying is Vegan Beat. We are what we eat. <laughs> Here we are, this is some super good, that's oyster mushrooms, Con super convincing fake meat. Got some other stuff, some other fake meat. What's this one right here? Soy nuggets. Soy nuggets. It's exactly like chicken All right, this is Feirouz. They have Syrian food. It's a mix between Syrian and Greek. So we got their vegan soup, and apparently Lenny just has some. It's super good, super good. Food. Good. That's super flavorful. We just got this thing. You want a bite? And it looks awesome. Lindy, how do you feel about the food? I need to open something in the US. Yeah. In our town, so I can get that and eat this every day. Look at that. You can tell it's like not fried. It's baked. Oh my gosh. All right, so we just finished eating at Ferrier's and it was probably the best food I've had in a really long time. Um, it's not all vegan, but they have so much vegan stuff there and the dude was so nice He like gave us extra dessert for free and stuff and it was just really really amazing And so we're gonna be back there for sure. And If you're here, you should go. You should definitely go Are you a dove? No, you're not a dove. You're a dove that pooped itself So we found all these turtles in a park in Greece, but we're realizing we don't think they can get out the turtle trapped the turtle cage. Help me. Help me escape the turtle prison. Can they make it up to that little hole? I don't know. Turtle liberation begins now. Hello, I'm in Greece. And this is what I call a blob tree. This is Bob the Blob. He's a very blobby. Look at the blobbiness. All right, we just got one of these baked goods. Allegedly, they're vegan. This one is cranberry. It's really just bread and cranberry, pretty good. All right, welcome to Mike's super easy, pretty healthy, on-the-go international Airbnb situation. So I realized we're eating at a lot of restaurants and not everybody is gonna have the money to eat at this many restaurants. And we weren't eating restaurants every single meal, like every breakfast wasn't restaurants, but since it was really nice vegan food, I wanted to show everybody. But right now we're gonna do 
a oil-free meal, which is super healthy. So here is us shopping for the ingredients. All right, here we are at a Greek mini mart, which used to be the most common type of like mini grocery store. So we're gonna try and make a sort of healthier meal that you can find the ingredients for anywhere. And so we're gonna go in and see what we can do and hopefully get something okay. I found some organic whole wheat pasta for euro 50 and some just tomatoes and we're gonna throw some of these beans in there as well and find some veggies and hopefully it's gonna be good. They have almond, coconut, and soy milk here and like tahini milk, which we don't think we're gonna get because it might be super bitter and nasty. They also have these spice mixes, which are perfect for cooking on the go. Here's the latest type of animal exploitation, donkey milk. No, I think it's it's just a brand. We've also got some other canned options here, like kidney beans and mushrooms and some peas. Okay, so we made it out of there with some pretty good stuff, but they did literally just didn't have vegetables there. They have a lot of fresh fresh vegetable culture here, so we're gonna try and find another type of vegetable vendor that you could find commonly. All right, here's Bazaar. It seems to be a pretty common place, and it's got vegetables. Okay, so we got some vegetables for dinner, and I got an apple for my oatmeal tomorrow, and it was a dollar twenty-two euro twenty-two. And now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna start it. We got the sauce going over here. I've got my leeks right there, and I'm just going to throw some of my strained tomatoes in and get the flavor going. And now I've got my little cutesy little uh, herb packet here with a bunch of mixed herbs. I'm just gonna go for it, because this is just strained tomatoes. It doesn't have any flavoring in it yet. And I'm probably gonna add a little bit of water to that. All right, now I'm just mixing this up to get the sauce going, and I'm gonna finish chopping all my veggies. And over here, we have our water boiling ready for some whole wheat pasta. Boom, all right, so that's ready to go. And then we have these beans right here, which uh, Lindy saw someone suggested we try. I did realize they do have oil in them, but just pretend this is an oil-free can of beans. They had oil-free ones that I showed there. And that way you can do an uh, oil-free whole food vegan meal. All right, Lindy and I just almost broke up over which way we're gonna cook this, so I'm gonna go with her way. Uh, I was going to put everything in there and just cook it, but Lindy says put the zucchinis in the boiling water so they can lose all their nutrients. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying to do the most efficient, lazy way, so. Michael actually doesn't know how to cook. This is That's why I made it. not the true. Please comment down below who is the better cooker. <laughs> cook the zucchini and the peppers and everything first, and then when they had... Soften, I would add the sauce. And since we don't have that, Sorry, gonna be a really long video. you have to put them into the yeah, boiling turn it off. water. <laughs> All right, here's the result of the sauce. And the zucchini looks like it's about ready, and the noodles are ready, so we're good to go. All right, here is my healthier than restaurant <laughs> vegan food meal, which was super easy and super cheap. I mean, these prices are pretty amazing compared to what we pay in the US. And so it was maybe, you know, two euro a person as opposed to 10 euro a person for restaurants. So awesome. <laughs> All right, here we are at Bamboo Mini Market, which is an all vegan market. They have a bunch of grocery type things. They have alternatives to milk and cheese and all of that jazz. And then they're also a cafe. You can buy some delicious food right outside of the case, like sandwiches and little sort of pastry things and apple pie and brownies and stuff like that. So let's go check it out. And he got a bowl of a bunch of really good looking stuff. We got this pie thing. We got a chickpea salad sandwich. We got this sausage roll. Mary's already eating one. Alright, so by now you've probably noticed I've been eating a ton of junky restaurant food and I've been doing it for you guys, you know, I've been taking a hit for the team. But now, here we are at Peas, which is apparently a healthier vegan restaurant. One of the dudes at Bamboo Vegan said it was too healthy for him, so I think that means, I think that means it's going to be pretty healthy, so we'll give it a try. <laughs> Made with almond milk. Coconut stand. 
All right, another tip for traveling that I just realized since I'm on the beach doing it right now is if you're going to a place that doesn't have any restaurants at all or might not have any vegan food available, you can always think ahead. Like for example, last night we just ordered a bunch of extra food at Feroz and we refrigerated it last night and brought it today and now we got something to eat on the beach. In the end, we hardly had to go out of our way to get some really good vegan food. In fact, a lot of times we just accidentally stumbled upon places that were really vegan friendly. Other countries could have been harder, but these three cities were amazing. All right, that's it. Feel free to like and subscribe. And next week, I promise I'll have a sciencey video. I swear. All right, bye.